Brushes on electronic drums. Does it work? What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. So today I'm talking about brushes on electronic drums. These are nylon brushes made by Promark. This is actually the first time I've used nylon brushes. And I was forced to use nylon brushes because I don't want to damage my electronic drum set. I recommend if you do want to use brushes with e-drums, go with nylon brushes even if you don't like them because you don't want to ruin all of your mesh drum heads or maybe your cymbals with, you know, the metal. Let's be honest, they poke everywhere and it's probably not very good for your drum set. So I picked up these from Amazon. The I found out I don't really like them as much as metal brushes. I don't have as much fun playing with these. But I wanted to test how well brushes would work with electronic drums. I've seen videos of guys using brushes, but I wanted to play for myself and see how well um, the electronic drums responded to this. It works, but not great. Like, I actually wouldn't play with these live or for recording. Maybe for fun every once in a while. It depends. It depends on who you are. If you're a diehard brush guy and you um, play electronic drums now and you really miss playing with brushes, you know what, maybe give these a shot but uh, they don't work quite as well. Now for uh, a little bit of background, I'm using a Roland TD30 and I did switch it to brushes mode. Believe it or not, that module has a mode where you can tell it whether or not you're playing with sticks or brushes so that the module can respond differently. That's nice that the Roland TD30 has that feature. However, in the Roland TD30 side of the module, there's only one kit that I found specifically made for brushes, like with brush sound. Um, all the other kits, they don't magically have brush sounds when you switch it to brush mode. Brush mode only um, makes it so the pads respond better to you playing with brushes. I actually believe the sound of me playing with brushes is samples in the Roland module because all you can do is adjust the pitch of the sound and maybe the sustain. You can't actually do any sort of modeling of brushes, change the brush like 
thickness and the material, you can't do any of that, which you can do on a lot of other drums within the Roland TD30 module. But let's just be honest, brushes, you know, electronic drums are not meant to work with brushes very well. They don't care very much about it. They obviously haven't put much R&D effort into trying to make it perfectly work with brushes. I'm sure there's some guy out there watching this video right now that rocks brushes on electronic drums and knows all the tricks to make it work perfectly. But for me, I've just, just with uh, the limited time I played around with it, brushes don't work great with electronic drums. You can make it work. Um, I actually had a little bit of fun where I used a brush in my left hand for the snare and then played with this uh, drumstick in my right hand. That was actually kind of fun. It gave it sort of like a cool vibe. But if you have like a pair of wire brushes and you're thinking in the back of your mind about uh, ordering some nylon brushes just to work with your drum set, um, I don't really think it's worth the money. I mean, if you absolutely love brushes, uh, you can give it a go. I don't think the lower end drum sets would even have settings to work with brushes. You'll just have to jack up the sensitivity of all the pads right away to try to get them to work with brushes. It is workable, but it's nowhere near where it should be. Thank you so much for watching. I make three videos a week right now. If you wanna keep on top of those, be sure to subscribe, press the little bell icon to get notifications for the new videos I make. And go follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I put my drum covers on Instagram. Channel News is on Facebook. See you guys in a few days.